severe combined immunodeficiency, or SCID or SCID, is a complete absence of both the T cell and B cell arms of the immune system. Babies with SCID look completely healthy when they're born because they're protected by their mother's antibodies that cross the placenta and get into the baby. And those last for about two to four months. Babies who are born without T or B cell immunity can't survive. So they develop infections starting from a few months of life. And if they don't get treated with a bone marrow transplant or other form of immune reconstitution, then they won't make it till their first birthday. There are several different genetic forms of SCID. The most common is the X-linked form that affects boys, and I was involved in discovering the gene for X-linked SCID. When SCID was discovered very early in life, before infections had set in, then treatment was instituted promptly and the babies did a lot better. We all were looking for ways to do testing of newborns. One way is just to do a blood count in all newborns, but that is quite expensive and also not sensitive enough to pick up every single baby with skid. The test that we developed is done on the dried blood spots that babies are getting anyway for testing for PKU and metabolic disorders. And so we don't have a new sample and it's much more uh, cost effective to do a screen on that same sample. When lymphocytes are being formed, they have to make unique receptors for every cell. There's DNA in the T cell receptor gene that becomes part of the mature receptor, but then there are leftover pieces, and the leftovers get turned into circles. We can look at the circles and count them by doing a, an assay that detects the joint, so the joining of the circles is actually what we're looking for in the skid assay. If we don't detect any circles, we know that's one of the babies we have to follow up with. The pilot program in California is very important because California is such a large state, accounting for 10% of all the deliveries in the whole country. Assemblyman Richard Pan has introduced a bill to the California legislature to make skid screening part of the routine screening into the future that every baby will receive.